Yeah, these past three games, just what do you think's been clicking so well for you? I don't know, just building. I think um, it takes time. Um, trying to build my consistency, stay, stay focused uh, you know, on what I can do. I know what I can do. I know what I'm capable of. And I'm not surprised. And what are your emotions heading into Tuesday's game? Ready to play. Something going on? <laughs> <laughs> ben, this is twofold. Uh, when you say you're building, right? Yeah. How much of that is physical and just your body doing what you tell yeah. it to do? Or, and how much of that is confidence and <clears throat> being in the right headspace? I think it's, uh, it's a bit of both, you know? Like, obviously, getting the reps in. I haven't had many uh, opportunities to get the reps in, so I'm getting my reps in now. Um, and obviously, spending more time in the gym um, and working on my body consistently and just, you know, getting whatever I can do to, you know, progress and get better and, and be better, I want to do. And following up on Alex's question, as an example, when Jacques was in here, he was talking about how Tuesday will be great for you just yeah. because he says it will be another hurdle like when Portland was fouling you and hacking you and you stepped up and made three or four. Yeah. Um, do you agree with that assessment? Do you see it that way? Yeah, obviously you guys are going to make the titles and headlines and whatever that is, but no, I'm excited to go play. You know, I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity to go play there um, on the other side of the, the floor, so it would be a, a great experience. And that's how I look at it every game, you know. It's a new experience, so... Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, heading down there and uh, getting a win. Is there any chance in your mind that maybe enough time has passed that it won't be so bad it'll be <laughs> in Philly? Come on now. I know what, I know what's coming. Um, That's part of the part of the game. You know, Philly, Philly fans, one thing about Philly fans, they're incredible. You know, they're they're diehard Philly, you know, everything Philly, whatever it is. Um, I respect that about, you know, the city. It's a sports town. I was talking to Utah before the game. I think it was Utah about, you know, what it's like to play in Philly. You know, it's an incredible opportunity to obviously, um, you know, put on whatever jersey it is. You know, that's Philly. You know, it's a, it's a unique experience. Ben, what oh. way? <laughs> that's funny. All right. What way would you say you have grown since your time in Philly? Um... In all type of ways, you know, like I was 18 years old coming into Philly, you know, so that's the only, it's really the only place I've, I've lived as really an adult, you know, so um, I have a lot of love for that city and people don't know that, but a lot of my best friends are from Philadelphia and my brother still lives in Philadelphia. So regardless of the situation and, you know, things, you know, whatever happened, happened. Um, but, you know, I got a lot, of a lot of love for that city. So, you know, I look forward to going down there um, and playing. Then obviously you had the long time last season where you were out and back surgery and everything you were dealing with. Was there ever any point along the process where you didn't think that you'd be able to turn the corner the way you do it now? In terms of my play? Yeah. No. I mean, I would, like for you guys, I feel like you guys, you know, not you guys, I don't know, just certain people, but we'll put things out there. You know, is he ever going to get back to where he's, he was, whatever? But for me, I take it day by day. You know, I try not to look too far ahead. Um, I do what I can. I focus on my, myself and trying to get better each day. Uh, so I take it day by day. I don't look too far ahead and, and worry about the things that I can't control. Um, I control what I can. Ben, you're obviously playing a lot more center these days. What do you think it will be like to go up against Joel uh, for a while? I have to send four guys at him, honestly. He's a beast. Everybody knows that. It's Joe. Um, so it will be a fun experience to be on the other side of that. Uh, so, you know, he's a competitor. I like to compete. My team likes to compete, so it'll be it'll be a good game.